Right now I'm going to be looking at adhesive anchors, also known as epoxy bolts, and we use these when we're putting in tie downs. Now tie downs are something that is put in uh, any shear wall to keep them from overturning. They're also known as hold downs. When you put them in you have to drill a hole, a three quarter inch hole, into the concrete and when you drill this hole out, there's a lot of very, very fine silica dust. And silica dust is a known carcinogen. It can make people really sick. So you need to be very careful with the way you handle it. And in this video, you're going to see two ways it's handled. One, uh, which is not as safe as the other one. So I'm going to show you both so you can see which one you, know, you would like to use. Now, you know, please be aware, I know this from being a contractor for many years, if you are under a house and you blow dust out of these holes, no matter what you do to try to keep the dust out of the house, it seeps somehow, it seeps through the wood floor into people's homes. So what we do when we're bidding on a job, we'll say, okay, uh, we'll go ahead and use your epoxy bolts, you know, for whatever reason they want to. And then we say, but any cleanup, you're going to have to hire your own uh, clean, you know, cleaning crew to come out and clean up all the dust because we're not going to do it. And we do insist that they do it. They have to sign a waiver saying they're aware that a carcinogen is going to be in their house. So this is a pretty big deal. So we just want to make sure that you understand there is a very, very safe way to do this. And that is described in this video. Here you see some instructions from Simpson Strong Tie about installing their epoxy. First thing I'd like to notice, of course, is you drill the hole. The second thing is you have to blow the hole out with compressed air and 80 PSI uh, air pressure is quite a bit. So it does blow a whole lot of dust. Next thing is you take what we call a bottle brush and then you brush out the hole four cycles and then you need to blow it out again. Now the problem with this procedure is it does produce silica dust and silica dust is very dangerous. Right now I'll be showing you two systems for extracting dust from these tie down holes. And one is the one you just saw here, which is recommended by Simpson Strong Tie. And the other one uses a dust extraction system that uses hollow core drill bits and a vacuum. These bits are made by Bosch and Hilti. So once you look at these two systems, you can decide for yourself which one you think is the safest. None of the guidelines make it clear that if you blow the dust out without some kind of protection that you can really make yourself sick or other people sick as well. Uh, however, there are a lot of regulations that OSHA has set in place and the problem is, you know, this booklet right here on how to do it is 95 pages long and there aren't very many contractors who are going to want to go through the, you know, the record keeping. And so from a contractor point of view and from a safety point of view overall, using this system with the vacuum is uh, much easier and much safer. Mm -hmm. 